Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today I am going to be doing the what would you do tag beauty scenario. Um, it's only about eight questions so I'm just going to jump right into it. You get rid of all of your foundations and you can only keep one high end and one drugstore. Which would you keep? Um, this is pretty easy for me. The one drugstore one that I would keep is my CoverGirl Stay All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. That foundation is bomb. It's the best drugstore foundation that I've ever used. Sure, sure. There's a couple other brands out there, but I just never tried them. Um, I like the CoverGirl um, Stay All Day Flawless Foundation. It's the bomb. Like, the bomb. I love it. Um, I did. I, that's the foundation that I used in my um, no makeup makeup look. I will put a link that a link to that down below so you guys can check that out. But that will be my drugstore foundation. My high end foundation. Um, uh, my steel, my Stila foundation. Okay, maybe my NARS foundation, my NARS Sheer Glow foundation. I do like that one a lot. It's nice, it's light, it gives me just enough coverage. My skin isn't like, it doesn't need like a full coverage, which is what my Stila foundation does give me. But I don't really need it, so I'll go with my NARS Sheer Glow foundation. You go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. How Do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? Um... Damn. I don't know. I would mention it because it, one, I would that would be what I'm focusing on. I would be looking at her teeth like, and then my eyes will wander, and I will end up right back on her teeth. Then my eyes will wander again, and they will end up back on her teeth. So I I tell her I just I just can't do it. You're not feeling yourself and need a pick-me-up. Which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful? Um, right? Okay. Uh, I would go with my Iman Red lipstick. Um, that is my favorite red lipstick of all time. I have a bunch of red lipsticks. The red lipsticks are beautiful. I love them. Um, but my Iman Red is the bomb um, it's very very hard to find so the one that I do have I I'm kind of savoring um, but it is my favorite lipstick but I would go for my Iman red lipstick I wish that I had it out here to show you guys but you guys I probably see me in it I don't know but um, that lipstick is the bomb you go back in time for a day to your teenage years how would you do your hair and makeup differently my hair I probably would do anything differently because my I was in my teenage years, I had a relaxer, um, and I probably wouldn't have big chopped when I was a teenager, um, so it probably will still be, it probably would have been relaxed in my teenage years, and I usually wore my hair either straight out or in a ponytail, um, I didn't do anything like weird. <laughs> um, my makeup though, I would have applied less makeup. Um, I've never, I've never looked caked up, but when I go back and think, I used to use, um, when I first started doing it, I used to use the Amon, um, foundation stick. That was the first, like, foundation I ever used, and that is full coverage. Like, when I was a teenager, I didn't need full coverage. Like, I probably could have did one swipe or two and did my whole face, okay? I used to do a swipe here, a swipe here, a swipe on my forehead, a swipe on my chin, a double, like... I just used to be all over with it and pack it on. Um, it never looked cakey, but I probably could have saved um, some product. And when I used to do my eyeshadow, so I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but I'm trying to. Okay, so I'm trying to do it so I can see it as well. So I don't know if you guys can see uh, where that gold is on my eyes. So I never used to do any type of crease color, no outer V corner, uh, no brow highlight. I never used to do any of that. I used to do like this one little strip because I have like, you know, really small lid space. So I would only put, and I used to use the, um, the, um, like the, oh, it's like the eyeshadow stick 
from Avon. It was called Tiger's Eye. It was my favorite. It was gold shade. And it's the only one I ever used, but I used to take it out and it used to come like in a little, you know, like a like a lip gloss wand kind of thing and it was you know you just brush it on and you pro people probably usually blend it out all over their lid nope I used to take it and just put it right like a thin layer on my lid and the only you I would only put it on the lid space that you can see when my eyes are open so I would do it with my eyes open and I would just go whoop. so then when I close my eyes like that there would just be like a line like who does that like that's what I used to do so I would probably either not wear any eyeshadow or um, actually do my whole lid instead of just doing like this little little ass strip of gold. Um, but it was my favorite. I wonder if they still make it because I, I love that thing. It was it was the bomb. Like it stayed on all day. But it was by Avon and it was called Tiger's Eye. It was their um, like eyeshadow you know stick or you know gel thing. I don't know what it was, but it was like a, a liquid eye shadow whatever but that's what I used to do and I would change that you ask your hairdresser for shoulder length pixie cut pixie lot haircut but they hear you wrong and give you a pixie cut do you smile say thank you leave and call your mom hysterically cry in the chair and things get awkward Complaints to the manager and demand and demand a refund. Um, I don't. I wouldn't complain to the manager. I would complain to my hairdresser. Like, girl, this is not what I asked for. Like, this is not gonna work. Like, I don't know what you can do to fix it, but this is not what I asked for. Like, I'm gonna have to come back with my meat, my weave, and you will have to install it for free. But I did not ask for a pixie cut. Boo boo. Like, this is this is not gonna work. Like. No, like I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't complain to the manager just because um, the hairdresser that I do have, I have you know one that, that I trust to do my natural hair or to do my hair. I haven't had her do my hair in a very long time because I I just I just don't have time even to go to anyone and do my hair. But um, I just don't go to her because I can do my hair myself. Um, and then I have another girl that I like who braids my hair. Um, and for me, I feel like I'm comfortable with them enough. To talk to them themselves and say this is not what I asked for like I say a pixie lot haircut whatever the hell that means I don't even know what that means because I don't go in asking for dramatic cuts any damn way so I'm like boo I did not ask for this I'm about to go to the weed place and get some weed and you're gonna have to install it for free because this is not what I asked for I would tell her and she she would probably just you know give my money back and do it for free or whatever it is but um, I wouldn't necessarily go to the manager because I'm comfortable enough with um, the people that I allow to do my hair. One, I allow people to do my hair. Your friend surprises you with a four-day city break and you have one hour to pack. Which dude all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? Um, my Lorac Pro palette. Um, point blank period. It has everything. It has matte shades. It has shimmery shades. It has shades to do my eyebrows. Um, and just shades to do um, entire daytime and nighttime looks. So the Lorac Pro palette, um, it's very, very thin. Um, I think I mentioned it in one of my perfect palette, my perfect palette tag. I think I mentioned it. It's very, very thin. It is something that I would have to bubble wrap because that thing breaks so freaking easy when you drop it on the floor. Like, I think I dropped it once and not even far from the floor. Like, it was probably like two inches from the floor and I dropped it and one of my eyeshadows broke. But that would be the one that I would take. Your house has been robbed. Don't worry, everyone is safe, but your beauty stash has been raided. What's the product you really hope is safe? Um, my makeup brushes. My makeup, like I love makeup brushes and they are really, really expensive to replace. Um, especially for the amount that I do have like if I was to add up how much each brush that I have cost um, it would be a lot so I really hope my makeup brushes would be safe because they're very very expensive to replace yeah your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition do you a just pretend you haven't noticed 
B asked them to repurchase it or C secretly do the same to theirs. Um, first things first, I don't lend out my makeup. Point blank period. No, you can't borrow it. No. There is nothing in my makeup collection that anyone has ever borrowed from me or that I would ever let borrow it. But since we're answering the question, I would ask them to replace it. Um, just like I would do anything else. If you rip a hole in my shirt, you need to replace it. If you scratch my CD where now every song skips, you need to replace my CD. Um, you need to return things in the condition that I gave it to you. And I have no problem telling my friends that. So I would ask them to replace it. Makeup is very expensive. And, um, you know, if you damage it, you need to buy it. If you, you know, they say if you break it, you bought it. And you need to return it in the best condition that you can. And that's it. I don't care. Um, so that's what I would do. I would ask them to replace it. That's it. That's it for this time. It was only eight questions. Oh, man. All right, then. Well, that was fun. I hope to see you guys in another video. I'm pretty much done with this outfit for the day. Yes, I am. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.